Hello friends, welcome back and very good morning to one and all. This is Dr. Janardhan Pawar from TC College Baramati. Friends, in last video, we people have seen one more type of formal communication and that was horizontal communication. I hope the concept of horizontal communication is clear for you. In this video, we are going to see one more and the last type of formal communication that is diagonal communication. I think this name is new for you all and this is what you people are a little bit confused about the concept of diagonal communication. But let me tell you friends, this concept of diagonal communication is very simple to understand. Basically this word is new but the concept is very simple to understand. So see what is the concept of a diagonal communication that I am going to tell you by using this picture which is there in the right hand side of your slide. Just look at this slide. In this slide, uh, there are different types of managers and they have their own, you know, status, they have their own uh, place in the organization. For example, if you look at the top manager that is operation manager, in left side production manager, below that IT manager, in uh, right hand side sales manager and uh, above there is one more maintenance manager. If in an organization, there are different types of managers, they work and they all are at same level or they have their different positions in the organization. For example, we will we'll consider that they have their different positions. It means what? Uh, somebody is working as a boss, somebody is working as an employee, somebody is working as, you know, according to their de designations. But their designations are different, for example. Okay. Though their status and their, you know, um, levels are different but they have their same designations what happens basically whenever there is a problem and whenever they want to talk with each other they talk for example operation manager wants to talk with it manager directly he can talk with it manager suppose production manager wants to talk with uh, maintenance manager he can directly talk with maintenance manager so there is no restriction as such to go for the purpose or to go for the communication for example sales manager wants to talk with production manager and directly he can talk so if you look at this see here sales manager is there and sales manager wants to talk with operation manager uh, that particular person can talk with operation manager directly so there is no restriction as such. there is no flow certain flow of information as such in as we people have seen in downward communication there was a flow of information from top to bottom in upward communication we have seen there was a flow of uh, information from bottom to top in uh, horizontal communication we have seen there was a flow of information from one level to another level it was on parallel level only but here in case of diagonal communication this kind of flows are not decided it is not decided at all so they have uh, no restriction as such there are no certain uh, rules and regulations and guidelines for conducting this kind of or to have such kind of diagonal communication and this is what this kind of communication is called as cross cultural cross functional uh, kind of communication and uh, I think you people have understood the concept of diagonal in case of diagonal communication there are no restriction to talk any employee can talk with anyone else for example a worker wants to talk with the uh, uh, manager there is no need to talk with the supervisor first and supervisor will talk on behalf of the uh, worker to the manager it is not like this so here in this case there are no restrictions there are no guidelines to be followed they can talk with each other anytime anytime anywhere and this kind of communication is called as diagonal communication i hope you people have understood the concept of diagonal communication thoroughly now as we people have seen there are certain advantages and disadvantages of any concept and any type of communication so here also there are certain advantages and disadvantages of diagonal communication as i told you there are two there are always two slides, sides of of a single coin so there are two different uh, sides are also here in case of diagonal communication first is positive second is negative so we are going to talk about positive that is advantages of diagonal communication are concerned see um, as far as advantages are concerned the first advantage of diagonal communication is faster communication see as there are no restriction to talk with each other any worker can contact with any manager so this one is the fastest way of communication because there are no restrictions there are no obstacles there are no difficulties to talk suppose there is an issue in maintenance department automatically that worker of maintenance department can contact with operation manager 
and they may get their uh, issue resolved so this is called what there is no restriction as such and because of no restrictions and no obstacles in the process of communication it becomes fastest way of communication second one beneficial to link group see because of this kind of no restriction they can create and link with their groups also so and this one is the one of the important benefit of diagonal communication groups can be created and they can link with themselves in that particular group and third one diagonal communication that is diverse in nature as it is diverse in nature because uh, there is no uh, there is no particular flow of information they can contact with anyone else so this one is little bit diverse in nature and this one is the benefit this one is the great advantage of diagonal communication in business organization so these are the uh, advantages of diagonal communication which we will have seen till this moment now moving to the another one that is disadvantages of diagonal communication as i told you there are certain negative aspects also of diagonal communication and uh, here we are going to see all those disadvantages the first one is disruptive type disruptive means what here this kind of communication and the china method of formal communication will change will create some disruptions in the process of communication as there are no restrictions as such as there are no formalities as such as there are no you know rules and regulations as such and because of that there is a chance of having some disturbances having some disruptions in the process of communication and the last one insecurity of information as there is no boss as there is no certain flow of information so there whatever information is passed from the manager to the concerned person to the concerned authority concerned employee there may be a possibility of insecurity of that information so these are the advantages and disadvantages of diagonal communication which we have seen so in this video what we have seen that i am going to repeat we have seen the concept of diagonal communication diagonal communication is a communication which is a cross functional way of uh, doing communication in the business organization cross functional means what there are no restrictions of having the same functions any authority can talk with anyone else or to any other authority it becomes diagonal communication and uh, as far as advantages are concerned there are three advantages faster communication beneficial to link group diverse in nature and uh, there are two disadvantages and those two disadvantages are disruptive type insecurity of insecurity of information these are the two disadvantages or drawbacks or limitations of diagonal communication so friends in this video we have seen the concept of diagonal communication in a detailed manner at the same time we have seen advantages and disadvantages of diagonal communication i hope you guys have understood everything if not please ask me your doubts and queries by using <coughs> google classroom and let me your uh, queries and doubts i hope you people understood thoroughly so here we have completed all those types of formal communication and in next video we are going to see the last aspect of your syllabus or of your topic number 2 and the topic number 2 was methods and channels of communication one more last aspect is left that we are going to see in next video till then stay connected stay tuned and thank you very much